everyone should know that SpaceX is trying to get us to Mars. Put the Cybertruck on Mars. It is super awesome. The work that he does is great. This is a solar panel popping up and then there's a satellite dish to get the information from NASA to drive the truck around. Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, has reiterated his long-standing goal of landing humans on the surface of Mars within the next five to ten years. The world's richest man also owns Tesla Motors and The Boring Company and aims to make humanity a multi-planetary species through a colony on Mars. He wants to achieve his goal as quickly as possible, to ensure Mars is sustainable before Earth gets too hot for life in about 500 million years. And that's why, through his Tesla company, he has developed a truck that his other company, SpaceX, will use to explore Mars. Elon Musk has flown so high, so fast, that it's hard not to wonder when and how he will crash to Earth. How could he not? Musk is so many things. Inventor, entrepreneur, billionaire, space pioneer, inspiration for Iron Man's Playboy superhero Tony Stark, and he has pushed the boundaries of science and business, doing what others declare impossible. At some point, surely, he will fall victim to Sod's law of gravity. Musk has spent nearly two decades rallying SpaceX fans around his goal of colonizing Mars, something world governments aren't currently attempting, in part because of the unfathomable price tag such a mission will entail. The billionaire, who happens to be the company's CEO and chief engineer, refers to his interplanetary ambitions more like a sci-fi protagonist with a moral calling than an entrepreneur with a disruptive business plan. Musk is putting everything on the table to achieve his goals, with two of his biggest companies, Tesla and SpaceX, leading the charge. Just recently, Tesla unveiled the Monster Cybertruck, a sci-fi-looking automobile that has motivated Musk and his team to develop a more complex version to be used on Mars. The Tesla Cybertruck Pressurized Edition will be the official truck of Mars, the SpaceX and Tesla CEO said via Twitter back in 2019 about six hours before showing the vehicle to the world during a webcast event. And the Red Planet connection doesn't exist merely in Musk's head. The body of the Cybertruck is cold rolled stainless steel, just like that of the Starship, the 165 foot tall spacecraft that SpaceX is developing to help humanity colonize Mars. If Elon Musk could send the Tesla Roadster to space, it's not a distant possibility that he can bring the all electric pickup truck to Mars. The Cybertruck has also been likened to NASA's Mars Concept Rover unveiled in 2017. The space agency's rover looks like an armored personal carrier from the future and looks very tough, just how the upcoming truck looks like. If the Cybertruck has been designed to play another role, it's not a far possibility since these electric vehicles can run on Mars because they don't need oxygen like internal combustion engines. Elon Musk is mentioned as much on Twitter. The truck sure is otherworldly. Doesn't look like anything on planet Earth, aside from a dumpster, a doorstop, and some older cars used in sci-fi and James Bond movies. And it certainly doesn't resemble any of today's pickup trucks. Moreover, it definitely doesn't look like any of today's other all-electric pickup trucks. Oh wait, this makes perfect sense since the CEO probably had Mars in mind during the design process. While that's likely a stretch, it may be safe to say that Musk has Mars on his mind most of the time, and while his tweets on the subject may have been more of an attempt at humor than reality, we wouldn't be surprised if he really does hope to take the truck to Mars. It's no secret that the man has some pretty crazy and forward-thinking ideas. I mean, come on, he's already sent his first-gen roadster into orbit. What can he not do? If anything, the truck that can be used on Mars must be the same level or even better than the Cybertruck. And as I have said, the Cybertruck is itself a monster. It looks like it was dropped off by an alien race, but it has the capabilities to challenge all of the top-selling pickup trucks, with a sharp-edged exterior made of scratch and dent-resistant stainless steel. Tesla's all-electric truck is seriously tough. The Cybertruck can tow up to 14,000 pounds and has an estimated driving range of 500 plus miles along with the available all-wheel drive. While that applies only to the most expensive model, the cheapest one starts at $39,900. Of course, there's still a lot we don't know about the Cybertruck, including when it will officially go on sale. Tesla has delayed the truck's production timeline several times already. Lately, Tesla has been hinting at more SpaceX collaboration as it adds Spaceship to future potential products to work on for its future designers.
Recently, Tesla and SpaceX have been ramping up synergy with more workers moving between the companies and more equipment purchases between the two tech giants. Musk has said that his plans to establish a permanent colony on Mars will eventually allow humanity to become multiplanetary and interstellar. The SpaceX boss is currently developing Starship rockets to transport people and cargo around the solar system, with the eventual goal of establishing a self-sustaining colony on the Red Planet. He has consistently stated that this is the ultimate goal of SpaceX, as he believes it is fundamentally necessary to ensure humanity's long-term survival as a species. The timeline for achieving this has been pushed back several times, though the earliest interplanet Starship cargo missions could take place in 2024 or 2026 when the orbits of Earth and Mars line up. It is hoped that a completely self-sufficient Mars colony could be set up around 2050, though Musk is yet to speak publicly about what comes after. In response to a question from one of his Twitter followers about the Great Filter, a philosophical concept relating to the probability of a species reaching an advanced enough stage of development to explore outer space before going extinct, Musk explained his hopes for humanity once Mars has been colonized. If we are able to make life self-sustaining on Mars, we will have passed one of the greatest filters. Then that sets us up to become interstellar, he replied. Earth is approximately four and a half billion years old, but life is still not multiplanetary, and it's extremely uncertain how much time is left to become so. Once complete, the Starship craft and its accompanying booster rocket will be the most powerful rocket ever built, capable of producing more than twice the thrust of NASA's Saturn V rocket used during the Apollo missions. But Tesla's truck will not be the first car developed for space use. NASA has spent 60 years turning sci-fi visions of the future into reality. Reaching out to the moon and other planets has required the space agency to dream up vehicles that can haul humans into space, travel across the lunar surface, and survive the rigors of Mars. The space shuttle remains one of NASA's most iconic spacecraft designs. Altogether, five shuttles were in operation from 1981 to 2011, flying a total of 135 missions. NASA describes the shuttle as humanity's first reusable spacecraft. Firstly, there is the Space Exploration Vehicle, which many refer to as the coolest SUV, even if it hasn't been used off Earth yet. NASA's Space Exploration Vehicle is a concept designed to explore off-world environments. It's roughly the size of a pickup truck and can support two astronauts for 14 days. The lower windows let astronauts study the ground without having to get out. Secondly, there is Luna Rover. The vehicle looks a bit like a dune buggy, but it was built to help Apollo astronauts travel across the dusty surface of the moon. The first moon rover rolled out during the Apollo 15 mission in 1971. The LRV traveled over 17 miles, logging more than three hours of driving time. Then there is the triathlete. NASA sure knows how to put together a good acronym. The all-terrain, hex-legged, extraterrestrial explorer, Athlete, is a leggy vehicle built to tackle even the toughest terrain. Athlete is envisioned as a heavy-lift utility vehicle to support human exploration of the lunar surface, useful for unloading bulky cargo from stationary landers and transporting it long distances, says NASA. So, Musk's mission to colonize and even drive a Tesla truck on Mars is not far-fetched. He has always been super ambitious, and he delivers. We don't see why this project will be any different. Eyes on the price, we are eager to see the end product. And that's it from us today. In our upcoming videos, we'll be keeping tabs with developments at Tesla and SpaceX, including the official launch of Cybertruck and the final outcome of the Tesla truck to be used on Mars. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of them.